Hello and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you five tips on how you can become more confident. So stick around because you're not gonna to wanna to miss this. So a quick little bit of background about me. I was never a confident kid growing up. I was shy, I was introverted. I had little self-worth. I didn't believe I was attractive. So I had my first girlfriend at 11, but does that really count? Probably not, in which case I had my first proper girlfriend at 24 and I didn't date until I was 22. I went to a school that had mostly white or Caucasian boys. And yes, it was all boys, unfortunately. And as a result, I was bullied, predominantly because I was Asian and in a very small minority. There were only two other Asian boys in my year, but also because I was weird, nerdy, and was socially awkward. And it took such a long time for me to get comfortable in my own skin. It was only recently, like at the start of this year, I'm 27 now, but at the start of this year, when I was coming to the end period of being 26, that I started to perceive myself in a different light. My skin started to clear up, my face really leaned out. I actually started to try with my appearance. You know, when you're growing up, your mum will tell you that you're a handsome boy, but do they really mean it? I mean, they kind of have to say that because they're your mum, right? Good point, actually. Like this video if your mum also calls you a handsome boy. But it wasn't until I had quite a bit of success with online dating that I started to truly believe that I was physically not unattractive, right? I had a glow up, you can check out my video on my channel and if you're looking at clearing up your own skin, check out my skincare routine video, it gives you five tips on how you can clear up your own skin. Without further ado, let's get on with the five tips. The first one is a bit of a mind bender, I know, but you've got to train your mind, you've got to believe that you are worth something, that you deserve to be on this planet, that you have something to contribute, that you have a mission, right? If you tell yourself something enough, you will start to believe it yourself. So try that try telling yourself that you're confident and believe it because it all starts up here knowing your mission knowing your self-worth knowing that you deserve to be here you are special because you were born nothing more nothing less right i feel like this is the most important tip but i suppose it won't really make so much sense until you watch the rest of the video so carry on watching this video if you have insecurities about yourself embrace them because you're human i'm human we're all human we are not gods and we were never meant to be gods and we will never be perfect tip number two is kind of related to this but we live in a society where people care a lot about appearance whether it is dating in real life or online where you're going out and meeting new people or you're going for a job interview appearances are important they form the basis of someone's first impression of you and you want to make a good first impression because it's going to make things down the line a lot easier you ever heard the saying look good feel good you want to feel pride in the way that you look you want to take pride in your appearance you don't necessarily want to be narcissistic <laughs> but you can be a little bit vain and take pride in your appearance. So things like dressing well, wearing clothes that fit you, fit you well. If someone goes to the gym and you have a nice kind of V taper, you wanna wear a top that's a little bit tighter and potentially baggier trousers or vice versa. If you want to be a bit more baggy, you can wear a baggier top and then more tight trousers. There has to be contrast. Contrast is key and if you want three different outfit ideas i've also made another short video on my channel so go and check that out your haircut is important your haircut if done correctly is going to make your face look more symmetrical it's going to make you stand out a little bit more and if you have strong facial features like strong cheekbones a strong jawline shorter hair will do better or short back and sides and long on the top you can't go wrong with short back and sides that's like the standard haircut grooming yourself in terms of grooming your eyebrows if you have really, really messy eyebrows, you can pluck the middles, you can pluck just below. You don't want to overdo it because you don't want to look a bit too feminine because people who overdo the eyebrows can look too feminine if you over pluck them. Hello there, my name is Alex Mills. I have very good eyebrows and as you may have already seen me, I'm on The Apprentice. But you want them neat and tidy, but also looking like you haven't really touched them too much. Clearing up your skin. If you have acne and you clear up your skin, it can make a huge difference to the way people perceive you because a lot of the time people think that if you have acne, you have poor facial hygiene. This is not the case. It's to do with so many other factors, but I'm not gonna go into detail about it because I've made a video about it already. Getting lean is a big one, right? You can have the best, most amazing facial features, the best cheekbones, the best jawline, the best face shape, but you're never gonna see that face shape if you're overweight, so hit the gym diet down, get lean, lift weights. All these things are important because they are to do with improving your appearance. Tip number three, okay, finally, we're moving on, we're moving on, is to hold 
eye contact, right? You want to hold someone's gaze. How many times have you met someone's eye on the train or on the street, whether it be another guy or a really pretty girl, and you've looked away and you've been like, oh, I don't want to look this way. I don't look that way. That is a big no-no. Do not look away. You want to challenge yourself, push yourself out of your comfort zone. Don't stare at them, but you're going to meet their gaze until they look away or until you walk past and you, you can't, you know, you can't literally look at them through the back of your head. I think Hamza talks about this in one of his videos, but if you meet someone's gaze and you look away, that lowers your testosterone, that makes you more submissive and less dominant and will make you less confident, right? Just like not taking care of your appearance and not taking pride in your appearance will make you less confident. This will make you less confident as well. So you need to hold someone's gaze, even if it's uncomfortable. Train yourself to do that. It shows dominance and it will make you feel more confident because ultimately confidence Yes, it's about how you perceive yourself, but it's about how you feel. And if you feel dominant, if you feel more confident, you will be more confident. Tip number four is breathe. So as Uncle Iroh from The Last Airbender says, your power comes from your breath. No, power comes from the breath. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Let it fill your stomach, let it fill your diaphragm, let your diaphragm expand. I don't want it up here. I don't want you breathing like this. If you do not take enough of a breath before you talk, before you sing, before you do anything, you're gonna be out of breath. It's gonna look pretty submissive. It's not gonna look great. Have you ever heard the expression, project your voice? Actors do it all the time. If you're gonna project your voice, you need to take a deep breath in. And now the fifth and final tip, walk with purpose. It's about how you walk, the way that you walk, the way that you carry yourself, having your chest out, having your shoulders back and relax, standing nice and tall, keeping your eyes ahead, not looking down, eyes ahead, so that if you have to make eye contact with someone, you can, and you can maintain that eye contact, it's super important. Don't overdo this though, because if you overdo this, you can end up looking really, really arrogant or really stupid. <laughs> by keeping your chest out, by keeping your shoulders back, you're maintaining this open, relaxed, and assertive posture. People will read it. People will note your body language. For instance, I was at a wedding like, maybe a year ago, dressed in a suit, dressed well. I felt confident in the way that I looked and the feedback that I got from one of the guys at the wedding when I was talking to him, we were talking about kind of what hobbies we had and I was like, I play a lot of sport. And he was like, yeah, I can tell you look like a confident guy. Funny, because at the time I wasn't super confident. But anyway, I went with it. You look like a confident guy and I can tell that you play sport. Boom, that's the power of the way that you walk. It can change someone's perception of you like that. So work on your walk. People will read it. People will read into the way that you walk, into the way that you carry yourself. It's pretty simple, it's body language, right? And it's gonna make you feel better about yourself if you carry yourself in a way that permeates confidence, that permeates assertiveness. You wanna swing your arms, but not too much, but also you don't wanna have your arms stuck stiff by your side. You don't wanna walk too fast, but also not too slow. The best way to kind of imagine this is that you're walking somewhere for a specific reason. You're walking to the train station because you've gotta catch your train, but you're not gonna be late for it. And you also don't wanna to be too early. You're walking there with purpose. Each stride is important. So those are the five tips on how to be more confident. Number one, we have train your mind. Believe that you're confident, believe that you're worth something and you will convince yourself that you are and you will be, you will be guys. Number two is optimize your appearance, like dress well. Tip number three, hold eye contact with people in the street, people that you don't know, strangers, anybody, and don't look away. Tip number four is to take a relaxed, deep breath. And finally, tip number five, is to walk with purpose. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. I hope that you found it useful. If you did, then why not consider liking and subscribing for more content like this and connect with me on Instagram. Until next time, guys. I'm on my own, broken alone. I feel the rain crashing down. All around this empty town. I'm searching for the lost and found.